All right, now let's go through and um, talk about installing Twine to your computer. Um, now, a quick Google search is going to bring up a page very similar to what I have here. You will have a bunch of very confusing photos of bits of Twine. Um, and at the very top, what you should have is twinery.org. That's T-W-I-N-E-R-Y dot org. That's where we want to be. So we'll just jump straight there. Now, when you very first get to twinery.org, um, it's a very cute little website. And in your upper right hand corner, these are our download options. Now, there's something um, significant that I want to point out here. Uh, notice how we've got download 2.011. Down here, we keep seeing things that say Twine 2.0, Twine 2.0, Twine 1.4, Twine 1.4. Okay, what that is, is there's um, two versions of Twine on the net. There is uh, Twine version 1 and Twine version 2. This uh, is going to be covering, this particular series is covering Twine version 2, simply because there is more support for Twine version 2. Um, but if you would like to go investigate Twine version 1, you are of course more than welcome. In the meantime, for the for those of you who are following along, um, we will make sure that we install Twine version 2, we'll be using Twine version 2 syntax, etc. Okay, so at twinery.org, I want that download 2.0.11 option at the very top. I'll just go ahead and let that start to download. Um, so once that finishes downloading, it's pretty much straightforward when it comes to installing a program. You double click the EXE and then you follow the prompts for actually installing the EXE to your hard drive. Um, what gets interesting is setting up the folder structure afterwards. So that's what we're going to do uh, once this is done. Downloading just a second away and there we go. Okay, so that opens up. Yes, we do want to install that. Thank you very much. And uh, so, very first option is your destination folder. Now, by default, it's almost always going to store um, install into your C program files folder. But if you have other drives, like if you set up a second external hard drive or you have extra hard drives in your computer, you can um, change this to any one of those drives. Uh, available to you. So for example, I've got that drive volume D. I could have it installed in drive volume D. Um, and then you effectively just follow the prompts. You hit install and then you just let it do its thing. Um, so I'm going to pause the video here and you go ahead and um, follow the prompts one at a time. Because uh, if I just click install now, you'll see it sh shows the whole process. It's installed, awesome, completed. Um, hit close and too easy. If I come down here now to um, my Windows search, I see my Twine there. Now I've got two versions of Twine in my Windows search. One has this dark green logo and one has a light green logo. Basically, dark green, that's Twine version 1. Light green, that's Twine version 2. It's not immediately apparent, but that's the difference. Okay, so now setting up the folders for where we're going to store our Twine stories. That's what gets interesting. So I'm going to create a. Um, I'm going to create a new folder in Documents. So let's go into Documents here. I've got Twine and Stories. This is where most of my stories are going to be saved. Now, under Twine Stories. Um, if I wanted to create a Twine project that has images and audio, I am going to want to have a folder that's dedicated to that where I can store my images and my audio. So for this particular project, um, I will come up with the, we will use the incredibly original name, Test Project 01. I know, I have shocked all of you with how original I am. And in Test Project 01, we will of course have, uh, the story will be called Test Story 01, um, but we are also going to have an images folder. I'm going to have an audio folder. 
and all of my audio files that I'll be calling during the project and all my image files that I'll be calling during the project will be in their respective folders. So that's folder setup. Now let's actually launch um, Twine and save our little test story. So I'll bring Twine back up. Okay, aha, there you go. So uh, notice the donates sign here. Twine is open source, it is free software. And if you find that you enjoy it and you use it a lot, um, then please donate to the creator so that they can keep making really, really good software for you. Um, I've donated before, so I will go no thanks for now, simply so I don't go broke um, every time I do a video. Okay, so you can see I've got a couple of stories that I've created in the past. I'm going to create a new story here, and um, so this is my little dashboard. This shows me the stories I've created before, and this shows me, uh, this gives me a couple of different options for bringing in new stories. So I'm just going to click on the plus story button, which creates a brand new story. And I'm going to call this test story 01. Click add. As I said, terribly original. Now, where that's actually ended up uh, is all the way back here in that stories folder. So I'm going to shut down Twine. I'm going to grab test story 01. And I want that to be in the same folder. That's my audio and my images, because once again, that test project all one, that's the folder that's going to contain everything for this particular game. It's really important that we keep those audio images and story files close to each other. So if I just double click that, it's going to open up an HTML page that doesn't do anything at all. <laughs> but we'll open up Twine, um, and I'll go import from file. And let's go... There we are. And here is my Testorio 1 again. So, um, it disappeared from my dash dashboard purely because the dashboard was only looking at that original Stories folder, and when Testorio 1 disappeared from that original story folder, the dashboard panicked and thought, oh my god, what happened? It surely must be dead. Um, and so it disappeared. But since we've just imported it from a file, we can say, no, Twine actually, Testorio 1 is alive and well. And if I just click on that, there we go. This launches Twine. So this is uh, the interface that we are going to be working with in the next video.